podcast heroes where we believe typology can save the world. I'm Amanda Fogelson. And I'm Jesse Miller, and we are going to give you a long-awaited update on all things Typecast Heroes. So we have been watching your comments. We know that you guys have a lot of questions, so today we're just going to try to answer some of them for you guys. So first off, we look different. <laughs> we released, or we filmed all of those videos that you guys have been watching last summer. Mm -hmm. So we have not filmed a new one since November. It's been a very long time. Mm -hmm. So you guys, when you watch them and you see us looking different, it's because those are old videos that we filmed and we've just been releasing them slowly as we felt was necessary. We have to a schedule or tried. Really, we posted when we had time to keep up with it, which we'll talk about in just a second. Mm -hmm. um, but also, just to fair warning here, we're talking about how we look a little different right now, but we also both have big plans to look even more different. <laughs> here shortly in the future so um so just we'll we'll preface our videos i guess with that so you guys kind of know where we're at but as of right now this is who we are in june of 2021 mm -hmm. so as you see them that's why we look we look a little different mm -hmm. um the first thing where did we go so we got this question a lot we were over the summer we were posting about what, three times a week mm -hmm. last summer and then we really dropped down to once a week for a long time and then we didn't post for two months and I had a lot of questions so many people in the comments in the Facebook inbox in um, Instagram and discord reddit everybody's asking us where we went so we were going to take some time just to tell you guys what was up mm -hmm. so on top of posting just to give a little bit of background on what it looks like behind the scenes, us posting three times a week also meant us filming two to three times a week for like four to five hours at a time. <laughs> um, I've got three kids at home. Jesse's got two kids at home. We both also have um, very high stress jobs, especially in the past year, which I think the whole world mm -hmm. experienced a high stress job, regardless of what your job was. Um, but in particular, I'm going to speak for myself for a little bit here that, um, near, I guess, October it was September, October, my, my job, uh, which I've talked about before, I manage a large team across a lot of different States and, uh, we just did a huge update to our system. And if you've ever gone through, um, any sort of technology update, you know, that it can be quite painful. Um, we're months in and it's still pretty messy. So that being said, I work, you know, 55, 60 hour work weeks right now. I'm on call seven days a week and um, it's just been really stressful. On top of trying to make sure that my kids are healthy, my husband's taken care of, um, it's just been, I, I think really what I wanted to do was come on here and just be authentic and be open and honest with you guys that it's just been a really, really, really hard time um without giving too many details and so also just making sure that we took time for self-care and for our own mental health and sanity but i think it's also very apparent to both of us that tch is part of that mental health and self-care for us like this is really it for us this is what we love this is what we're passionate about this is what we want to do we want to build up this community and be there for you guys as well as often as we can be and respond to every comment if possible like we have so many hopes and dreams and um and we just kind of had to take a step back for a second while we had to focus on some other real life stuff so that's for my side of things so um as you guys know i'm most of you anyway know that i'm a teacher that's my day job and so for this year with covid education went haywire um i had to teach in person and online and it was psycho bananas i mean if you try to keep kids entertained teaching i teach high school like high schoolers entertained when they have to sit in front of a computer for 90 minutes it was psycho it was so crazy so that was really Busy. And then I also took a continuing education class that I told Amanda I had to write some pretty massive papers for. So in addition to the paper for the typecast project, I was also writing papers for my continuing education class. So it was 
all over the place. And to make matters even worse, because Amanda was talking about her authenticity, um, if you guys have been watching this for a while, you know that running is something that I'm like super into. I experienced a really bad injury in December, mm -hmm. I think. November. November. It was right before yeah. Thanksgiving. I experienced a really bad injury. And I everything kind of shut down for me because I can't, it's my outlet. It's my, what I do for anxiety. And I just couldn't, could, I just couldn't do anything. So I appreciate so much everybody's patience because mm -hmm. up until that point, I had been really on top of a man and I split up responsibilities. So my responsibilities are a couple of the inboxes and I fell off the, I think I went six weeks without answering a single request. But I do appreciate everyone was so nice when mm -hmm. I came back and was like, I'm really sorry. This is what happened. Um, and right now, my priority is answering all of those questions and going through type clarification. So if you are somebody who reached out during that time, thank you so much. And thank you for those of you who continue to reach out because I do enjoy interacting with you on a daily basis. And I'm out for summer. Thank God. Yes. And so we're really kind of back where we started. Last year... Uh, my job was a little bit slower during COVID because we just were just kind of floating, trying to figure out what was really going to happen and just kind of maintain the day to day. Um, it's very different right now. Um, and with Jessie being out, it makes a massive difference on her availability as well. So mm -hmm. she can really pick up, especially on the, with my job not slowing down this summer the way that it normally would and the way it did last year, she can really pick up on a lot of things that I had responsibility over for TCH as well. So we're hoping that over the next few months, we're going to come up with a really good plan. Well, we're coming up, coming up with a really good plan right now so that we can continue filming over the next few months and continue releasing all of the videos and get already all of this education set out. Um, as well as there's so many other series that we've had in our heads for so long. If you guys saw all the documents that we have and all of the ideas that we've talked about in the past of wanting to do, they're still up here. Like they're, they still, and they still want to come out. So, um, TCH isn't going anywhere. We just had to take a short break and we're not quite sure what it's going to look like to make sure that we can continue meeting expectations from you guys, but also be setting realistic expectations for ourselves. So we don't just go, you know, full, full head and try to post five days a week and then all of a sudden school starts again and my job gets crazy and then we just disappear for months. So we're going to try to create a, a little bit of a better balance this time um, and make sure that we are consistent. So I think most likely you guys can expect a video a week mm -hmm. and then we will have some bonus ones. Um, we still have several that are uploaded to YouTube and ready to post uh, to finish up the top stack. So you can expect to see the inferior function videos finished. That'll mm -hmm. be finished by the end of this month because there are three more, mm -hmm. four more left. Four more. Yeah. And then we also do have the others in the versus series. I think the only one left is SE versus SI or in SE versus any as S well. SE versus any and then, yeah. SE but they're already filmed. They're already ready to go. They'll just be released about once a week. Um, so now what you guys probably came for is the project update. Mm -hmm. So with everything going on, I did not have time to tell everyone to make the announcement that I wanted to, that I got all 100 of all, I got a hundred of each of the 16 types. Right now it's looking like just under 2000 people total participated in the project with 84 countries. As I'm going through the data, I am having to throw out some, I'm going through the data really closely for some of the types still because they all came in and out of rush. I got some help from discord. Um, at the last minute. So it's looking like that's going to be the total numbers. So right now I am cleaning up all of the data and putting it on the blog. You guys can go see the mm -hmm. ENFP and the INTP videos. And then we will be filming the other 16 types, hopefully throughout the summer so mm -hmm. that you should have all 16 types by the fall. Mm -hmm. You will be able to see for the education, for the education podcast and finally coming through which I'm really excited about. But because I did get 100 of all 16 types, that portion is closed. So no longer accepting participants into this section because a lot of the data is already ready to go. And in some instances, I'm being reached out to from types and we've already filmed the video. So there's no more in the participation for this set. Everybody keeps asking what's next. 
So um, Amanda and I have a couple ideas for the next data set. What we are going to do probably is we're going to have a poll in the fall about what you guys would want to answer, what you would want to see the data on and the research on. And if you have some suggestions, um, I have about four ideas that I've got a question set for, but if you have ideas of things that you would like to see, you can go ahead and comment below so we can keep all that in mind. And again, that's not just uh, like our little mini series that we do, that's for the actual next project set. So mm -hmm. um, questions you guys would want to answer about yourselves. Um, or know about other types. Yeah. Yep. Your loved ones, anyone that you're kind of wanting a deep dive into their mind about, you can kind of post those. But we'll put a poll on Facebook. I'll probably do one on Instagram as well. And then we'll also do one on the community tab in on YouTube. Um, which, speaking of the community tab, <laughs> um, so we've had a few people reach out and ask just, I mean, first of all, you guys are incredible. I don't even think it really truly hit us. I mean, like I, speaking for myself, I knew that we had started building a community, which is really where my passion is like so much is and for so many different reasons in so many different ways, but to build a community with our TCH channel, um, it's just so huge and just. I don't know it just I'm in awe sometimes of you guys and so a few of you guys reached out though asking for more consistent updates on our community tab um, which there are certain um, requirements that you have to meet on YouTube to get access to a community tab and once we reached those requirements was really when our life started getting super crazy mm -hmm. like we just described so as excited as we were to finally have that community tab access we got a little too involved in our day to day and we were not able to start utilizing it the way that we'd like to. Um, but just know that it is something that we were very passionate about. I would like to post consistently on there, uh, like a few times a week and just kind of engage you guys, ask questions, allow you guys to ask questions, do polls and conversations and just little things here and there. Um, so we appreciate you guys reaching out. Just know that it is part of our plan. Um, but in addition, that is more time and energy spent on this channel and we're just now trying to really, really get back into it, but just know that it is something that we plan on utilizing soon. Um, and then the last thing is type clarification continued all the way up until January, I think is when I took a break. So I took about six weeks of break from type clarification, but I'm still doing it. So if you or somebody you love want to know your type, you can still reach out to us for free type clarification. It's one of my favorite things I get to do. So I've typed a lot of people in the last couple of days. Right now my turnaround is like 24 hours and it will be until August. So if you want to know your type, if you want to get type clarified, please reach out to us on any of the million platforms that we are <laughs> on and monitoring. Um, the best ones are always going to be Instagram or Facebook, preferably mm -hmm. just because we have a ton of data in there and it's really great when we can just kind of go back into those platforms, but um, also Reddit and Discord are mm -hmm. available as well. Um, and we have a Gmail account that that you can email us mm -hmm. at as well. Or reach um, out on our blog through our contact form. Mm -hmm. There's a million mm -hmm. different ways. <laughs> just figure it out. Yeah. You're, you're good. Um, and... With that, just know that it'll be type clarification, but again, like Jesse already said, it won't be going into like your type clarifying and your questions and everything will not be going into this project right now, but it is still a free type clarification. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So, but thank you guys so much for being patient and for all of the people who participated and bothered their friends and family to get them to participate. Thank you to Discord for coming in at like the last minute and giving me <laughs> lots of access to people that I did not, I was not aware that Discord had quite the sizable MBTI community until recently. So that was very helpful. And we really just are excited to be back. We're so excited to be back. It's a little weird filming again, honestly, just because it's our favorite thing. Like, I mean, we there's so much about TCH. I mean, there's literally nothing I don't think we don't like about TCH, honestly. Um, but filming was one of our favorite things. We're best friends. And I mean, you guys, when I say that we haven't like been doing TCH, we haven't even 
seeing each, each other. other. Like, mm-hmm. it's been a hard stop in our lives. It's just been, you know, everyone experiences those years where you just kind of look at back and you're just like, what was I doing? And you're almost like blacked out because all you were doing was just kind of surviving, like just trying to get through it. And that's really, really what the past seven or eight months has looked like for us. And it's, um, it's been really sad, but we are back for sure, for sure. And uh, we're just going to kind of get our feet wet again and start posting and we'll see how it goes. Yeah. But we miss you guys and we love you so much. And thank you for sticking it out. Thank you for still being here. The growth that our channel is still experiencing, mm-hmm. even though insane. we, I mean, it's crazy. It, again, just in complete awe and cannot explain how much we appreciate it. So thank you and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Let's gather around the type fire and sing our type fire song. Our M-B-T-I-T-Y-P-O-L-O-G-Y song. And if you feel uncomfortable, then know there's nothing wrong.